For many cadets, it is the first time that you set foot on a ship. This can be a very exciting and sometimes very scary experience. You will stay on the ship for a good few months and work with many different officers and crew members. For these few months, the ship will be your home away from home. It also means being away from the safety of your family and friends that you have to leave behind in the country you came from. Tip. When coming on board keep an open mind. That means that you must be open to all the information, advice and other things that are given to you. Warning. Do not pretend that you already know everything because you finished your school. If you have an attitude, the crew on board is not going to be willing to teach you anything. That is not good for your stay on board or your development into a junior officer or junior engineer. When you arrive on board it will be strange for you. You come into a strange environment and everything is new to you. You have just had a long voyage from your home to the ship or came from the hotel to the ship. You're excited. Maybe even a little bit afraid of the new things around you. Your cabin. When arriving, you will be shown to your cabin. This is the place where you will live and sleep for the next few months. Tip. Make sure that you make your cabin a safe place for you. That means that you have to make it your home, putting pictures of your family on the wall, creating an environment almost like home. It has to be place where you don't feel lonely when you have a dip or if you are homesick. Depending on the time you get to settle in, and pack your bags and put your clothes in the locker, put your hygienic products in the bathroom, put pictures on the wall and make the cabin like you want it to be. Cleaning your cabin. It is advisable to clean your cabin once a week to maintain a proper hygienic situation. For many cadets, it is the first time they ever have to clean a cabin by themselves. Some points to follow when cleaning your cabin. Vacuum the floor or carpet. Throw away the trash. Clean your bathroom and toilet. Collect your clothes and towels for washing. Change the bed linen, papers and documents. When you come on board you are put on the crew list as a crew member of the ship. To have the information about you, the officer in charge of doing this will need your passport and seaman's book. The captain will need the rest of the paperwork and documents to check if everything is okay. He will keep your documents in a safe place in his cabin. You also have papers and documents from your school. Give what is needed to the captain and keep the rest in your cabin. Meeting the rest of the crew after you have settled in your cabin, the time will come that you meet the rest of the officers and crew. Most of the time the crew will be Filipino, and most of them speak good English. They will tell you how things are done on the ship, and can also help you and your choirs on board. The officers on the other hand are most of the time from the Ukraine, Russia, or Poland. With the officers you will need to talk English also. It will be scary to talk to them because of the rank and the different culture. These people are the ones who will be guiding and teaching you during your stay on board. Then we have the captain. He is the person who has the ultimate responsibility for you on board. If there is any question or problem, he is the one to go to. Remember, the officers and crew already know what to do. You are here to learn from them. That means that you will have to show interest for the job you're doing, and that you have to ask a lot of questions, and show a lot of self-initiative. Tip. Try to figure out yourself about things on board before asking questions. Read manuals or work with the object to see how it works. Getting to know the ship. The ship is a whole new place for you. When at sea, there is only water around. This means that you will have to know the ship in case something happens. That is why you will have to get a familiarization round on the ship. This is usually done by the safety officer, the second mate. He or she will show you around the ship indicating where the safety equipment is and the means of escape from the ship. They will also show you what the emergency signals are in case of alarms or emergencies. Info. The signals are not the same on every ship. Take good care in learning the right signals for the ship you are on. You can find these signals on the muster lists on board the ship. The second mate will show you also the safety plans that are everywhere on the ship, on every deck. In your cabin you have a cabin card that tells you what your duty is during any drills or emergencies. Tip. 
Make sure that you study for yourself as soon as possible these safety plans. It is for your safety and for the rest of the crew on board. On the ship there are loading and discharging operations taking place. The safety during the operations will also be explained to you by the officers or crew. School projects. When you come on board, you also have this project book from school with you. It is important that you finish most or all of the projects that are written in the book in order to obtain your sailing license. Tip. Take the first month on board as a month of discovering the ship. Try to find out how things are working, where things are positioned on board, and how the daily routine is on board. After the first month on board where you got to know the ship and the layout of the ship, can you start with your projects? You have built up some knowledge, and this will help you during the making of your projects. Make a plan on how to start the project, and try to stick to it. Don't make yourself crazy by doing two or three different projects in one time. Start one and finish it, then you're sure that it will be done well, 